If you have been having problems trying to import your files into Share Factory, I'm going to show you a quick fix that will help you. So this is my intro right here, and you can see, let me try to play it so we can see exactly what it is. So it's an MP4 video. It's a short intro video. But now I want to import it into Share Factory on my PS4. So what we've been doing is you have to have an SD card. No, not an SD card. You have to have a USB stick, which is this right here. And you can see it's empty. I have nothing in it. So what we've been doing is we've been creating a folder inside this USB stick. And we've been naming that folder PS4. And inside the PS4 folder, we've been naming um, Share Factory, creating another folder called Share Factory. And we've been naming, uh, naming it Share Factory. And we've also been creating a, a, another folder inside the Share Factory folder, and we've been calling it video. So that's where we've been placing the video. And when you plug it into the PS4, uh, you would be getting an error message. So you can see the um, what I'm going through here right now uh, is that I've created a new folder inside the Share Factory folder, and I'm going to name it video. Okay. So if I call it video, this is the folder that I'm going to put my intro into. And you're going to realize that if you do this process, you're going to get uh, an error message. And your videos will not be able to be imported into Share Factory. Now, I went through these, these steps here to show you guys that it does not work. And there is a method that I've learned and there is a new updated mes uh, method that I'm going to be showing you guys. And it's going to be copying from PS4 itself. All right. We're going to be copying from PS4 to see how it creates these folders. So let me go ahead and uh, unmount this USB stick and then switch over to PS4 to show you guys that it does not work that way. So if we switch over to PS4 Share Factory, you can see here. If you go to uh, import content right down here, uh, you're going to see that if you choose uh, import videos, you're not going to be able to import your video. So it says import from USB and you click on import from USB. It tries to populate to see and it brings you this error message where it says import files not found say imported from the share factory folder uh share factory videos folder it is not found and that is the biggest mistake that we've been making but now guys let me show you the process that ps4 goes through to create uh these folders and you're going to understand why this fix is going to work okay i'm not gonna go on so much so let me switch over here to my camera from the phone to show you guys so when you go to the capture gallery of your PS4 and you go to the videos that you have that you captured in there. So now I have only one video captured in there and it's from Share Factory here. I'm going to go ahead and try to transfer this. And this is what you should do, guys. You should try to copy uh, any of your videos that you have that recorded on your PS4 to try to copy them to your USB storage. That way ps4 is going to create folders into your drive okay you see here it's going to create a ps4 uh, folder and inside it it's going to create a share folder and inside it it's going to create either screenshot or a video clips depending on what you're going to be copying so you can see now it's copying i'm going to let it copy and then after it copies i'm going to switch over to the computer so you can see now we're on the computer and if we open the Kingston USB stick here, you're going to see that we have a PS4 folder in there that we created initially. But now look, we have two folders inside it. We have the share folder and we have the share factory folder that we created. Part of the reason why we couldn't find our video is because we put our video inside this share factory folder and we put it inside the video folder. But under normal circumstances, it's supposed to be in the share folder and the video clips, okay? So this is where you're going to put your video. 
after you plug your USB onto the uh, PS4 and then you try to copy a file from the PS4 onto that USB stick, PS4 is going to create these folders automatically for you guys. And that is the fix. I can't stress it enough. So you should just plug your USB into your PS4 and try to copy the content from your PS4 onto that USB drive. After that, it will create folders for you guys. And when you go to those folders, open the PS4 folder, open the share folder, open the video clips folder, and that's where you're going to be putting your intro or the videos from the, uh, your computer that you want to uh, import into the share factory. And that's exactly what I just did here right now. I just took my intro and pasted it into the videos folder you can see here into the video clips folder that ps4 created for me on my flash drive that's how is it's going to be guys and that is a fix so plug your usb onto your ps4 first and try to copy something from your ps4 a video that you created maybe gameplay from your ps4 onto that usb stick so ps4 can create for you these folders automatically the way it wants them now you can see if we switch over to share factory you're going to see it's going to be easy you go to import content and we're going to go to import videos uh, import videos the one in the lower left corner here so we're going to go to import videos and you can see we're going to say import from usb and you can see now it starts to see our video clips. You can see our video clip here. Simeo Art 2017 intro for PS4 is created. I mean MP4 is created. So you can just go ahead and select it with X. And after you select it with X, you're going to press the box on your controller. And your video will be imported into Share Factory. Okay. So now that we've pressed X to select it. We're going to go ahead and press the box on your controller, on your PS4 controller, for you to be able to import that video into Share Factory. Okay. So now that we've imported it, I'm going to go ahead and try to open up a new project to show you guys that this trailer or this intro was really imported in Share Factory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, uh, let me see open up here share factory and i'm going to go ahead onto videos and i'm going to create a new project and this is how you find now the videos that you just imported okay go to most recent because it's a recent thing that you just imported into share factory so if you go to most recent you can scroll through usually what happens is people when they go over here they say oh i didn't find it but under normal circumstances, you're supposed to scroll the way all the way down to the most recent videos. And if you click on them with X, you can see now I have my Simeo Art 2017 intro here now. And I can go ahead and select it and create a new project or edit my videos the way I want. So this is just an intro that I imported. So if I go ahead and select it here. Uh, it means I can start creating my videos or I can start creating my projects with that intro that I got from my computer in those videos. So I'm going to go ahead and select only that intro here. And uh, um, I'm going to go ahead and say start project. So you can see now my intro is in my project. It's right here. Let me try to play it. Right. You can see my intro is in my project now and I can do whatever I want now. I can go ahead and press X to add more videos uh, onto this project or I can even go ahead and export only that. So what's going to happen, guys, if you haven't watched other videos of mine, I have other videos on how to add more videos onto this project. I have other videos on how to add transitions and how to edit in Share Factory all the way. So if you haven't watched those, you can go ahead and watch those. But this video was to clear the air on how to import videos from your USB stick onto Share Factory and how to start a project with it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye for now.